I will be taking up the introductory lecture on neoplasia and we will be covering the basic definitions uh, of neoplasia, their classification and general characteristics of neoplasms. And at the end, we will talk on differences of benign and malignant neoplasms. First, what is neoplasia, neoplasms and oncology? Now, the term neoplasia means neo and plasia. Neo means new and plasia means growth. So, neoplasia, if we translate it, is new growth. But then, there are examples of new growth in normal physiologic processes as well. For example, developing embryo during intrauterine life is uh, got new growth of variety of cells taking place or in tissue repair there is proliferation taking place and new growth taking place or hormonal stimulation in menstruation when new endometrium is laid down. So all these are also examples of newer proliferation or new growth but these are well controlled proliferation and physiologic processes while Neoplasia means pathological disturbance in the growth and neoplasm is new growth. Neoplasia is the process of new growth formation while neoplasm or tumor is defined as a new growth which is actually formed as a mass of tissue because of abnormal, excessive, uncoordinated autonomous and purposeless proliferation of cells and they continue to follow these characteristics even after the growth stimulus has been removed. So these are basic features of neoplasms that there is abnormal proliferation, it is excessive beyond normal, it is uncoordinated, it is devoid of any growth control or is autonomous and serves no purpose. Now, all these characteristics are features of neoplasms but not in the physiologic growth because they are normal. That's not excessive in physiologic growth and that's well regulated or coordinated and is regulated growth and serves a purpose. So therefore these features characterize neoplasms and the process of formation of uh, new proliferations of this type or pathologic proliferation of this type is called as neoplasia. Now the branch of science that deals with the study of neoplasms or the tumors is called oncology. Oncos means tumor and logos means study. Now neoplasms or tumors may be classified into benign and malignant. Benign are innocent tumors and they are slow growing localized tumors while malignant are rapidly proliferating tumors and they spread through the body. Now the common term used for malignant tumors is cancer which means actually crab because the cancer adheres or sticks to the part where it is arisen from and it sticks in such a stubborn manner as crab does. So therefore the term used carcinos or the cancer is derived from Greek term which means crab. So it's like um, it's stuck like a crab to the site or the organ where it is arisen from. So there are two basic components of all tumors that is parenchyma and supportive stromal network. The parenchyma is comprised by the proliferating tumor cells, the actual parenchymal tumor cells. And this determines the nature and evolution of the tumor. The second component called stromal, supportive stromal network or supportive stroma is composed of fibrovascular tissue, which means it has got fibrous tissue and blood vessels in it. And that forms the network which actually perfuses the tumor cell. So it provides the framework of parenchyma tumor cells to grow because perfusion comes from fibrovascular network. How do we 
name the tumors or how do we use the nomenclature for tumors? The tumors derive their nomenclature on the basis of parenchymal cells which comprise them. So the benign tumors, the term used is cell of origin followed by oma. For example, a tumor rising from fibrous tissue will be a fibroma. And likewise, the one arising from the skeletal muscle, we call it a rhabdomyoma, smooth muscle, we call it a leomyoma, or rising from nerve fiber, we call it a neurofibroma, and so on. So, oma is the suffix, and prefix is the cell of origin for benign tumors. Now, malignant tumors can be of epithelial origin or of mesenchymal origin. The ones of epithelial origin are called carcinomas while malignant mesenchymal tumors are called sarcomas and that's because of their fleshy cross appearance. So therefore, malignant tumors or common term for them called cancers may be carcinomas which are of epithelial origin or sarcomas which are of mesenchymal origin. For example, here there is a squamous cell carcinoma arising from the squamous epithelium. So therefore, the term used here is a carcinoma with a prefix of the cell of origin. And for a mes mesenchymal malignant tumor, the term used here is a fibrosarcoma for the tumor arising from fibrous tissue. So fibrosarcoma, the postfix is sarcoma in most of the mesenchymal malignant tumors. But then there are some malignant tumors or cancers where it is not possible to determine whether the tumor is of epithelial origin or of mesenchymal origin because the tumor cells are too poorly differentiated or it is not possible to determine the cell of origin. So those are called undifferentiated malignant tumors. They are highly malignant tumors. Now, this is the generalization for nomenclature that for benign tumors, we use the cell of origin followed by OMA and for malignant epithelial tumor, cell of origin, carcinoma, then malignant mesenchymal tumor, cell of origin followed by sarcoma. But then there are certain exceptions to this generalization. For example, melanoma, the term used is for the malignant epithelial, malignant epithelial tumor arising from nervous cells. Although the term used here is melanoma rather than melanocarcinoma, which is synonymous, so melanoma is a malignant tumor. Likewise, hepatoma is same as hepatocellular carcinoma. And the hepatoma is a malignant tumor of hepatocytes. Lymphoma is a malignant lymphoid malignancy. And likewise, seminoma is a malignant tumor arising from the seminiferous uh, cells. And likewise, leukemia is the term used for malignant tumors of leukocytic series of the cells. So these are exceptions to this generalization where the terms used for malignancy are different uh, than the usual terminologies. So based on this, a histogenetic classification of malignant tumors has been described and that classification is specific for different systems and different organs which we will discuss when we have uh, classes on systemic pathology. But a broad general classification of benign and malignant tumor based on the cell of origin can be categorized as epithelial tumors, as squamous epithelial tumors, squamous papilloma benign, and squamous cell carcinoma as malignant, transitional epithelium, there is transitional cell papilloma, and the counterpart, malignant counterpart is transitional cell carcinoma, urothelial um, tumors called as papilloma or urothelial papilloma, as benign and urothelial carcinoma as malignant. Then glandular epithelium from bowel or in the gallbladder is called as adenoma and adenocarcinoma respectively for benign and malignant tumor. Similarly, the mesothelial tumor as benign mesothelioma and malignant mesothelioma. And the basal cell tumor is regarded malignant example of a malignant tumor called basal cell carcinoma. And the melanocytic tumor called nevus or malignant melanoma or melanocarcinoma, also called as melanoma. And hepatocytes uh, give rise to liver cell adenoma as benign tumor and hepatoma or hepatocellular carcinoma as malignant example. Placental tumor 
benign called as hydrotidiform or and malignant called as choriocarcinoma. Then there are non-epithelial or mesenchymal tumors arising from different mesenchymal tissues with the cell of origin followed by the corresponding term as OMA for benign tumors and sarcomas for malignant tumors. So lipoma and liposarcoma, fibroma from fibrous tissue, benign tumor and fibrosarcoma as malignant fibrous tissue tumor. Embryonic fibrous tissue as myxoma and myxosarcoma as benign and malignant examples. The cartilage tumor correspondingly are called as chondroma and chondrosarcoma. Bone tumors, there are many, but common example here, benign tumor osteoma and osteosarcoma as malignant example. Benign synovioma and synovial sarcoma as benign and malignant counterparts are synovial tumors. Leomyoma and leomyosarcoma as benign and malignant tumors of smooth muscle and skeletal muscle as rhabdomyoma and rhabdomyosarcoma as benign and malignant tumors from skeletal muscle, blood vessels, hemangioma and angiosarcoma or hemangiosarcoma are the terms used for benign and malignant. Lymph, and cell, lymph vessels as lymphangioma and lymphangiosarcoma are the benign and malignant tumor. Glomus tumor as glomus uh, from glomus cells as benign tumor and glomangiosarcoma as malignant tumor. Meningi meninges give rise to meningioma as a common tumor. Invasive meningioma is the malignant counterpart. Hematopoietic uh, cell tumors, leukemias from the leukocytic series of malignant tumors. Uh, and likewise, lymphoid tissue may give rise to pseudolymphoma and malignant lymphoma is malignant example. Nerve sheath tumor as neurilemoma and neurofibroma and malignant peripheral nerve sheath tumor use synonymous with neurogenic sarcoma and nerve cell tumor called ganglioneuroma and ganglio and neuroblastoma as example. So this is just a abbreviated list of benign and malignant epithelial and non-epithelial or mesenchymal tumors. Then there are certain examples of mixed tumors as salivary gland tumor called pleomorphic adenoma and malignant mixed salivary tumor as malignant counterpart and tumors from the germ cell layer called as totipotent cells. They give rise to mature teratoma as benign example and immature teratoma and malignant teratoma as malignant counterpart. So this is just a abbreviated classification based on the cell of region, dividing it into benign and malignant tumors. Then we come to the characteristics of tumors.